Hello children, how are you all? Hope so you are doing good. As many of you are very seriously preparing for your boards, many of you are having your preparatories going on and many of you have written your preparatories already. And question arises, even though the writing time for mathematics exam is increased from two and a half hours to three hours, I am not able to manage the time well. How should I spend this three hours of writing time most effectively so that I can get good marks. These are the most common doubts which are arising in your mind. So I thought of making this video to help you out regarding that. So the tips whatever I'm going to discuss in this video are very very helpful children. So stay with me till the end of the video and get the best use of the tips and strategies whatever I'm going to discuss in this video. Clear? First of all, I would like to discuss on the question paper pattern which you are already familiar with. So the whole question paper of mathematics is divided into two sections, section A and section B. Section A is for 40 marks, clear, which is divided into question number one, question number two and question number three. Question number one, you will be having 15 multiple choice questions carrying one mark each. So totally 15 marks are awarded for question number one. Then question number two, you will be having three questions of a four mark each. So totally 12 marks for question number two. And in question number three, you will be having three questions out of which two questions are four marker and one question is of four five marker. This question of five marker usually from reflection or from the ujjayi they will be asking it so totally 40 marks is awarded from section a now section b you will be having question number 4 to question number 10 totally 7 questions you are going to have each question is having 3 sub questions right out of 3 questions 2 questions of 3 mark each and 1 question of 4 mark each like that you are going to have seven questions children so section b is totally for 70 mark out of which you are supposed to attend only 40 marks clear children okay so you are supposed to choose any four best questions out of seven questions then you start attending solving them but many of the children will get a doubt can i solve extra question from section b if I am left with some time. Obviously, yes, sir. but some conditions apply. That is what I am going to discuss in the today's video. What is that condition? Now, I will take an example to make you understand it in a better way. Clear? So, now, totally you will be having 3 hours of writing time. Before that, the 15 minutes of reading time will be given to you. So, your reading time starts from 10.45 to 11 o'clock is your reading time. So once the question paper is given to you by the invigilators and they will tell you to start reading. So what I suggest you children is uh, start reading the section B. Don't read section A. Clear children? So in the span of 15 minutes of reading time, you have to be very smart enough and quick enough to decide which are the four questions from section B I am going to solve. This decision should not be taken during the writing time. I don't want you guys to waste your writing time on deciding on choosing the four questions from section B. No. Writing time for writing only. Okay. Clear. So you should not decide, you should not choose and you should not be in a dilemma which question should I attend. Should I attend the question number 4, should I attend question number 10. Okay, that dilemma should not be there in your mind. Clear? So decide on the 4 questions whichever you are going to attend from section B during the reading time only. If you are still left with the time, obviously you can start reading section A and you can obviously calculate some of the multiple choice questions during the right, uh, reading time itself. But obviously don't write, don't start writing during reading time. So when it is 11 o'clock, the invigilators will tell you 
start writing. So your writing time is for 3 hours that is from 11 to 2 p.m. Clear children? Okay. Then you start attending the questions from section A. Right. So here I have some tips for you. Whatever I have told just now. Start reading section B and decide which four questions from section B you can solve. Do not waste time during the writing time to decide which four questions to be answered. This to be decided during the reading time only. Then only I can say you are taking the effective use of reading time. Clear children? So later, once you have answered all questions from section A and any four questions from section B, revisit all the solutions to rectify your mistakes. So what actually a normal student tend to oh my god still I am left with so much of time why can't I attend few extra questions from section B don't do that mistake right in the moment when you completed four questions from section B children clear so once you have completed four questions from section B revisit all the questions all the solutions from section A you might have gone wrong in copying the data from the question paper you might have gone wrong in uh, writing and uh, solving a tail question you might have forgotten it okay right so such kind of small mistakes to be identified and they are to be rectified so that you are not losing any single mark from section a why I am telling you section a is a compulsory section even one mark is lost in section a it is lost it cannot be regained. So you have to be very, very, very careful about section A. Clear? Suppose after rechecking all the solutions, you are still left with time. In such cases, only you can try attending extra questions from section B. Until then, don't try. Clear children? I will tell one example over here why I am suggesting you not to attend extra questions from section B soon after solving your four questions from section B. Clear? See, I am giving you an example over here so that you can understand it in a better way. Now, I have taken a student who has scored 12 marks in question number 1 and 10 marks in question number 2 and 9 marks in question number 3. Clear children? Okay, he has attempted all these questions from section A and this is his score, right? Then later, he tried attempting section B. He has attempted four questions. Question number four, he has scored 10 mark. Question number six, he has scored nine marks. Question number eight, he has scored 10 mark. And question number 10, he has scored eight marks. Now, by this time, he attempt this question number 10 he has already done with two hours or two and a half hours. Now he is left with another half an hour or 45 minutes. What he thinks, okay, now still I'm left with the time. Let me attend the extra question. So he will attend extra question. Clear. Now he is not revisiting the questions, whatever he has solved it. He is now trying to attend the extra questions. He will attend extra questions. Question number nine. And he will score 6 marks in it. While correcting, I will get to know. Okay. And he has scored 7 marks from section 5. But me as an evaluator, I will choose best 4 questions from section B. Clear children? So, what questions I will choose? I will choose question number 4. I will choose question number 8. And I will choose question number 6. As well as I will choose question number 10. These are the best marks whatever you have gained from section B. Okay. So then let me calculate your total. Clear. So from section A, you have scored 12 plus 10 plus 9. That is 31 marks children from section A you have scored. Then section B, you have scored 10 plus 9 plus 10 plus, okay, 8. Clear. So totally your score is 37 marks. So what's your total? Your total is 68 marks out of 80. Clear? So since you have spent much energy on question number 9 and much time, very important, on question number 9 and also much time on 
solving question number 5 these two questions are not at all considered these two 6 plus 7 13 marks are not at all boosting your marks it is not at all added to your total clear children these marks are ignored because compared to rest of the four questions these questions are not so good marks your score i'll choose the best four clear suppose at this moment once you have completed question number 10 once you have completed question number 10 suppose if you have revisited section a and all these four questions whatever you have solved and you have rectified the mistake suppose if you have rectified the mistake if you have revisited section a and uh, rectified the mistakes now say for example when you are correcting section a here you will realize that you have done a mistake then you will correct two of your solutions then your score might, might be it i can say it will be like 14 out of 15 then here you will again revisit this question number two and you will rectify your mistakes and you will score say for example 11 mark out of 12 mark over here okay one mark you have gained here two mark you have gained similarly when you think about the section three some mistake you will find mistakes maybe you might have gone wrong in copying the data or you might have forgotten to write the units you might have not represented the number line okay solution set on the number line i'm just telling you some examples okay you will revisit that and you will realize oh my god what i have done i have forgotten this question then you solve that one then again you are scoring say for example 12 marks clear children okay so now what is your total going to be see here in the section a in the section a 14 11 12 so your score is look at this it is 37 mark earlier it was 31 mark how much extra marks you have scored over here you have scored six extra marks clear why have you scored the six extra marks because you have revisited section a and rectified your mistakes and your six marks is added to the earlier marks now 37 marks you have scored earlier it was 31 mark so this six marks is going to add up to your total children here even though you have scored 13 marks from section b that 13 marks is not going to add up to your total clean clearly you need to understand but you have revisited section a rectified your mistakes and six marks extra your scored so your score is now 37 marks which will increase in your total clear so now here 37 mark from section b which i have already spoken about that will remain as it is but instead of 31 mark from section a now it is going to be 37 marks so your total is going to be 74 see the power of cross-checking your answers from section a understood what was your earlier total children it was 68 marks now your score is 74 marks if you gain even one mark from section a that will be adding up to your total but if you attend three questions two questions or one question from section b if it is not getting good marks if you are not scoring good marks out of the extra questions it is a waste of time waste of your energy attending extra questions i am not telling don't take me wrongly i am not telling you not to attend extra questions from section b you attend extra question from section b only after you are revisiting all your solutions and rectifying your mistakes from section a as well as all the questions whichever you have already solved still you are left with time then only you attend extra questions is that clear children i hope so you understood the logic and the intention behind what i am telling you clear i think so this tips will definitely help you to score better clear thank you let me come back to you once again with one more tip till then take care keep working bye bye